What's going on, boys? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, so today, we're gonna do something a little different. Um, I'm gonna be working on my truck. Uh, gonna be doing an oil change on a Cummins ISX 15 on my 2016 Kenworth T680. So, uh, the, those of you guys out there that are subscribed to my channel, that are truckers and uh, own your own truck, you got a Cummins engine, uh, you wanna save a little bit of money, do your own oil changes. Uh, we do those here, so yeah, check it out. Uh, I'll be taking you guys step by step. It's a pretty easy process. Uh, basically, just like doing a Honda, just everything's a lot bigger and you might have a little bit more of everything. Uh, got two fuel filter that I change when I do this usually and uh, humongous oil filter. So yeah, uh, I'll be showing you guys step by step. So let's go, let's get it. All right, boys, so now that we uh, basically got the drain pans out there sitting at the truck, you guys will see that when I get out there to the truck. Um, came in here to grab my impact three quarter inch drive. Uh, that's what I bust the drain plug with. So yeah, let's get to it. That there, boys, is a future project. Y'all wait for that one. My boy. So, it's a pretty easy process, like I was saying. Got my drain pans right there. As you guys can see, it's a three quarter inch. Side in size, so this up here. And, uh, bust this plug loose real quick. Comes out pretty fast too, so you gotta be on you. When you A game, so. Let that drain like that for a while, boys, until it's all empty. All right, guys. So, looks like our drain has done, came to, uh, well, the final stages. Um, but we ain't gonna get in no hurry. Uh, it's Saturday today, and I won't be going out until probably Monday night, God willing. So. No need to be in a hurry. Uh, I'll let that sucker drain there for a while. Um, let's go over here. Uh, pop this. Oil fill to cap off so it drain a little faster. At least relieve some pressure. Um, and I uh, haven't done a review on this thing here, guys, but this is that uh, aftermarket full tilt intake manifold we upgraded to. And let me tell you guys, uh, I'm getting a gallon more MPGs. Uh, so there is living proof. It did improve on my MPGs. Um, I replaced that plug not too long ago. But uh, 
all new six brand new injectors so yeah but uh here's one fuel filter we'll be changing and here's the other fuel water separator we'll be changing that out so yeah guys Well, boys, I had to make a run to the truck parts uh, place in town. Uh, couldn't find my oil, oil filter wrench, so jumped in the coop, headed to town, grabbed this part right quick. So, getting on the ramp now. done draining from the oil pan um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and put my plug back on um, and then after I put my plug back on I'm gonna go ahead and drop that filter right there so the old filter got our new one right there so uh, when we get to that uh, I'll show you uh, this is the wrench that I use to remove the old filter best way to get to this is up under the chassis here so Hell of a mess. Didn't mean to do that, guys. <laughs> so, anyways, without dropping the filter in the bucket and making a hell of a mess. That usually doesn't happen to me, but of course, it's going to happen to me on the day I decide to re record for you guys. But, oh well. There it is, raw and uncut. Not cutting out certain things and just making it all look pretty for you because it's definitely not a pretty job it's a messy job but anyways um there you have it guys there's the filter <laughs> hell of a mess uh usually don't make that kind of mess but it's all good uh plan on pressure washing my engine and uh maybe hosing my boy down before I run this week coming up but uh yeah so now just uh basically <coughs> take this filter here and uh unwrap it of course pull that plug that's in there out and fill it up three quarters of the way as the filter indicates for you to do as you can see right here uh, so right up three quarters of the way and then uh, that'll go back in over here we've got our drain plug back on and then uh, yeah so after that, I'll go on the other side and I'll put the new oil in and uh, 
Yeah, so I'll show you all that. All right, guys, so now we fill this thing up halfway. Or no, actually, three quarters of the way. So, see how this works out. I'm washing my truck. I made a mess this time. Usually my wife's the one holding it for me, but she's sick today. So try to get this done by myself. I have made a bunch of messes today, guys. I usually don't do this. I got it all figured out for the most part. I mean, I guess that's what happens when things get all figured out, huh? <laughs> but yeah, um, usually I've got it down pat to me and the old lady can do this in a matter of no time. I mean, within 30, 45 minutes, but like I said, she's sick today, so I'm trying to get it done by myself. Especially when it's Wally. We thread it in. So once you gotta thread it in, you're not supposed to do this guys because some people go ham on it and tighten it up too much, then they can't get their old filter out. But I've been doing this for years, so once I gotta thread it in, that's what I do. I use the same wrench I use to take it off. I use it to put it on. And I don't go crazy with it. I just snug it there. But you don't want to leave it loose either. Because you'll have a mess of oil everywhere. But now that that's done, it's fully drained. New uh, oil filter installed. Now, all we have to do is 
got the new oil in it, which there's almost five gallons of it right there. And then uh, there's the rest of it right there on the porch. Um, those of you out there that are curious, uh, we picked those up through Amazon. I think my old lady said she paid like 66 bucks a, a bucket, which they're five gallon buckets. And uh, the other little black jug you see on the porch there, that's STA Gear Oil Lube. Um, we don't use Lucas anymore. We found out that Lucas wasn't for us. So uh, we're using the STA Gear Oil now as additive to our oil. So what we do is a gallon of the STA Gear Oil and then the other 10 gallons, Rotella, Rotella T uh, 15W40. So, but yeah, I'll uh, get back with you boys once we uh, start topping this thing back off. Y'all can see, it's my little setup I got going on since I don't have the wifey helping me today. But uh, I'm gonna try to get y'all set up as best as I can. Now I'll fill this thing back up. So, uh, So uh, let's get to it. Put five gallons of uh, the Rotella tea in there. I didn't get that on camera. I didn't have an idea at the time of uh, how to set my phone up so you guys could see. But uh, I got you set up now, boys. So anyway, we're going with this uh, hero. One gallon of it. used to run Lucas guys but then my wife did some research on Ross and uh, those of you out there that aren't familiar with Ross uh, best way I could describe him I've never met the man but uh, he's a coming coming genius in my eyes but anyway he recommended to do this uh, he said Lucas is nothing but designed to cake up in your engine and to eventually become a catastrophic failure. So we're gonna take his advice and our people down at Haggai's told us the same thing. Go with this. We take heed of advice good people give us. They're all good people and they know more than this about this stuff than we do. So we're gonna rock with that. Shout out to my people down in Georgia, Griffin, Georgia, Haggai Automotive. So, anyway, we're gonna put most of this in there, but not all of it. This will be too much. So, let's go. It's that liquid gold, y'all. Liquid gold.
gonna say about a gallon of this, y'all. Pour it back into that lube jug. And uh, once we get this sucker on a level ground, we'll check the oil and if it needs it, we'll add it. And that's how I do mine. Now, we empty all those into these. I got a buddy of mine right across the tracks. He's got a car shop. 
He uses it in the winter time for his heat. So I just take him to buckets full of oil and that's what he burns in the winter for his heat. So I'll be back with y'all here. Well guys, uh, that's gonna bring this video to an end. Um, thanks for tuning in on another one. Uh, we've got the oil change all done on, on my truck. His name is Maximus. We call him Max for short, but uh, yeah, we got the oil change all done, and uh, I soaked it down with some degreaser. I'll probably come out here tomorrow and just uh, pressure wash it a little bit. But I uh, appreciate you guys tuning in on another one, and uh, stay tuned. I'm always doing my own little things and uh, repairs on my own truck and on my cars. So you guys know that guy right there, I'm sure, if you're subscribed. But uh, yeah, uh, we got some degreaser. I'm just gonna let it sit on here for the rest of the evening. And uh, tomorrow morning, I'll come out here and pressure wash them up real good. But uh, if you're not subscribed, definitely consider subscribing. Cause like I said, we're always doing our own little repairs on our own truck, me and my wife. So always got something going on and I'm gonna definitely try to, definitely um, gonna try to start recording everything I do. But yeah, you guys uh, stay tuned. Uh, we'll be having some videos drop soon. And uh, if you're not subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button. And definitely uh, hit the like button. It's greatly appreciated. God bless you all. And uh, catch us on the next one.